Thomas Neely, I am with Entrust Environmental. We are the main distributor for most of the digestate in central Scotland. Intergrow liquid fertiliser is a digestate that's made solely from leftover food. So anything that's destined for human consumption but that isn't used either leftovers out of date, that goes to Energen. They create biogas from that through anaerobic digestion and we are left with a nutrient rich biofertiliser. The benefits to farms of using digestate as opposed to conventional fertilisers, the AD process doesn't affect the uh, levels of trace elements, so that obviously has benefits for crop and livestock. It is more environmentally friendly, it's a lower carbon footprint. Not all digestate is the same, it pretty much comes down to what the feedstocks are. So some digestate comes from farm materials, so things like whole crop, silage, slurry, those sort of materials. Uh, Energrow digestate is purely uh, leftover food. In terms of analysis, every 6,000 cubic metres it's produced, there's a sample taken, uh, an analysis that goes away for testing. We get that back, that gives us the elemental NPK. We convert that into the figures that you'd get in the side of a fertiliser bag, so we convert it into KTO, PTO5, and then we give the farmers a, a, a guide as to what they're applying. In terms of livestock farms, Obviously, depending on the system, whether it be dairy, beef, sheep, uh, people will utilise it at different times. So dairy farms would tend to apply spring and early summer onto grazing and for growing their silage crops. A lot of sheep farms like to put it on in the autumn to keep a, a bite of grass going, coming into the autumn for tupping. And obviously, if the weather's there early uh, in the new year to try and get a bite of grass for lambing time. We are doing a lot of stubbles uh, over the last few years. Uh, a lot of autumn grain that goes in like winter wheat will do a lot onto that. Uh, again, likewise for cover crops, uh, if folk are growing spring crop, obviously, especially in NVZ areas, they want to get the nutrient on before the, uh, the 1st of October, so that come the spring they can just go in, uh, plough that cover crop down and plant their spring crop. You could certainly farm with digestate and lime and cut out your, uh, your bagged fertiliser entirely. We have some farms that have been doing that for a number of years now. They've actually built lagoons, uh, they fill those in the winter whenever they digestate uh, as a discounted rate and then that basically is their fertiliser for the year. So by the time it comes around in September, October, they have emptied their tanks again and they're ready to refill. And in that period, as I say, uh, the digestate doesn't separate out. It's a very homogenous product. We don't find it crusts because it hasn't got the level of fibre in it that would be in cattle slurry. Uh, and it'll sit there certainly for a year quite easily. The main thing you need to remember is that although it might look like slurry, it's not slurry. So slurry application rates of 3,000 gallon an acre plus is far more than you need to do. Digestate really, 1,800 to 2,000 gallon per acre is more than sufficient, or 20 cube per hectare in, uh, in modern terms. So effectively, don't overdo it, don't over apply it, and don't put fertiliser on on top of it. If you've given it, say, 1,800 gallon an acre, that's all you'll need for a proper silage.